Hello and welcome to another video for Midas Touch Toys, Games and Collectibles. And today we are looking at something quite special, I think. We are looking at the 2007 release by Diamond Select from their uh, Star Trek series of reissue Mego sets. Now this particular set was, was released by Mego back in the 1970s. Um, and Diamond Select done a rerun of a lot of Mego figures and play sets um in the early 2000s um and this particular item was the uss enterprise action place play set, set or the bridge play set um so this is the box it comes in and it says star trek uss enterprise action play set recommended for children over eight years old it says giant 24 inch long command center with captain's chair console two stools six view screen scenes uh, spin action transporter ages eight and up and it's got warning choking hazards small parts not for children under three years old okay so that's the front of the box so before we get into it let's turn the box around and see what is printed on the back okay so i'll switch the box around and it is exactly the same on this side as it was on the other side um just says at the bottom figures not included um but other than that it's exactly the same um so before i open the box i will just spin it round to the top and there we have a view of the top of the box uh, which says diamond select toy star trek uss enterprise action play set and there's some drawings of captain kirk mr spock dr mccoy and a klingon okay i think what i'm going to do now is i'm going to open the box and take the set out and let's have a good look at it Okay, so I've opened the box and taken the playset out, and this is what the playset looks like. So it's got here the USS Enterprise, an image of the original Enterprise um, on the back side there. And if I turn it to the side, you can see that image goes round to the fold here. And the same on the other side, where's the um, black nacelle, uh, the back nacelle goes round the, the bend there. And if I turn the box all the way around, there you can see you've got an entrance at the back there, which you can open up, and that takes you into the uh, transporter. Um, so you can have your figure, spin the figure around, and out he comes. Or if you want to send him back to the ship, he'll be on that side. Okay, so that's the transporter. Let's just close that back up, and then let's open the playset and have a good look at what's contained on the inside. Okay, so I've opened the playset up. You can see it's a massive 24 inches long. Um, so you've got the transporter on this side and you've got the consoles and so on there. Here's the bag with all the components and also the bag with all the, the view screens and the um, instructions are on there. Now this particular set was actually a shop find. Um, so it, um, the stickers on these have actually been, been applied because I think it was actually a display set. And actually, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to make all these up, pop them in there, and let's have a good look when it's all assembled. Okay, so I have assembled the console and the chairs and the captain's chair. Um, so you can see you've got the, the uh uh, console at the back there. I've also put up one of the, the of the view screens. Um, there are more view screens here. There's six altogether, um, and of course, then you, you know you've got the transporter there, the captain's chair, and the other um, areas around the side of the the uh, playset. So, I think let's have a zoom in. So there we can see the bridge view screen, and the um, center console uh, which would normally see Sulu and Chekhov um, there's the captain's chair which would be just sitting on the um, Star Trek logo just there and there's the other areas of the bridge uh, and there of course you have the transporter again which if you spin press the red button they disappear and you spin press the green button they reappear so that's the transporter and here we have the other view screens in the set. So there were six in all. That's three different ones. Oh, there's Spock on that one. And there's another two here. That's the back side of them. And then there's 
the front side of them. So that's the, the six different view screens. And of course, there's the instruction sheets here on how to assemble everything and how the playset actually works. So that is the entire playset. Um, these, and now these, this playset was specifically made for the Mego figures or the Diamond Select figures, the reissue ones, um, which are the, um, I think they're eight inch figures. Um, so they're designed for Captain Kirk to sit on the chair or Mr. Spock and Scotty to sit on the stools or Sulu and Chekhov. Um, so they are in scale with the eight inch figures. Uh, and the same with the transporter, they're designed for the eight inch figures to sit inside or stand inside and beam out and beam back. In fact, what I'll do is I'll just get a figure and we'll put him in a transporter and see how it works. Okay, so I've put in the transporter one of my Mego um, Mr. Spock figures uh, from the, the uh, 1970s. And if we spin the transporter, there you can see Mr. Spock. Let's do that again. There you can see Mr. Spock is gone. And if we spin it again, there you can see Mr. Spock is back. And so the back of the transporter has the opening. So if you was playing your game and you wanted Mr. Spock to beam down, you could spin him around, it disappear, and you could open up the back and take out Mr. Spock um, and go on to the landing, wherever they've landed. Okay, that is the playset. It's a beautiful playset. I remember having one of these as a kid, and I played with it for hours and hours and hours every day. But uh, it is one of my favourite sets from... Uh, from my childhood, um, even though this is the 2007 reissue, not the original one from the 70s, but it still is a fantastic set. This particular one was a shop display set, so it was displayed in a shop for many months before they um, put it, returned it to the box and returned it to the storeroom, and it stayed there for 15 years uh, until the shop closed down and we went in and bought out the uh, stock that was uh, that was left and this particular item was in the stock so we only actually have one of these um and they are obviously very difficult to find they were they weren't a, a great deal of them released in 2007 anyway they were only on, a, on a, a small quantity that was made and produced and released but as usual we at Midas Touch have managed to find this one which is currently available to purchase on the Midas Touch website which you can get to quite simply by clicking the link below it will take you straight to the website where you'll be able to find this and many other vintage Star Trek items and many other vintage toys, games and collectibles come to that. There's over 10,000 products currently available on the website for you to view and purchase at your leisure. And also don't forget to hit the subscribe button because we're uploading videos for every new item that goes into the website. There will be something for everybody and I'm absolutely sure you're not going to want to miss this because we literally have thousands and thousands of new products that we are shooting videos for and updating, uploading on a daily basis. So if there's something in particular you're looking for, something old you've never been able to find, something quirky you might want for a friend, or perhaps even something from your childhood like this is from mine, which you want to own again to help you recuperate those long lost childhood memories. Well, stay tuned, keep watching, because you never know the next item could be the one you're looking for. Okay, that is it for me on this fantastic item. I hope you've enjoyed this very short video. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you again soon.